I'd like to start this video with a little story for all of you. Don't worry, this won't take long. I was on a skiing trip a few years back with my family. I don't exactly remember the skiing itself being anything spectacular, but what I do remember is coming back to the place we were staying at and beginning the evening ritual of channel surfing to find some of that sweet, sweet, crappy television to treat ourselves to. We visited all the usual stops along the way, HGTV, History Channel, the other ones, but during our search, we came across the most peculiar channel. It didn't take long to realize we were in the Religious programming is almost always guaranteed to be quite an experience, so we were right at home, but it wasn't long before we discovered this. The Way of the Cross for Kids. Oh. Shit. You'd think we would have just changed the channel, but no, we did not. This is Way of the Cross for Kids. And now that you know how I discovered this thing, you might be expecting me to delve into some in-depth backstory, but I can't really do that since, as far as I can tell, this cartoon has no backstory. It doesn't even have a Wikipedia or IMDb entry that I know of. I do know that it's not the only one of its kind, however, as an upload of the short on YouTube has several other religious cartoons, presumably made by the same people, listed in the recommended section. Of course, many will view a drawn-out backstory as merely a distraction from the main thing you've already noticed, which is that the animation is horrible. This is one of those animation styles where I can think of no better word to describe how it looks than ugly. Sure, the character designs aren't the worst out there, but them constantly staring into your soul makes up for that. And as for the actual movement itself, just look at it. Alright, incredibly awkward, stilted animation aside, perhaps Way of the Cross for Kids can offer its value in different ways, despite its technical limitations. Children, let's pray together. Gather all your friends. Or perhaps I was mistaken. So we start with this song that takes up the first three minutes of this 25 minute cartoon that basically just tells us the entire story, which kind of makes watching the rest of this pointless. I mean, not that there'd be any point to watching this either way, but still, no need to be this transparent about it. Now, we've already seen the wondrous 2D animation on display, but one thing I haven't shown you yet is the incredibly accurate lip syncing animation. See for yourself. <laughs> Wow. Seamless. Here, I'll fix it. And ugh, why is this one girl getting all hot and bothered singing about Jesus' crucifixion? There's being down with the J-Man, and then there's this. Also, this boy is apparently very interested in what's going on in the bottom left. And now I think you just had a stroke. These characters will continue to pull many dopey faces throughout this thing, so get excited. So they sing for what feels like another 10 minutes before we finally begin with the actual story. As we're introduced to our four soul-sucking demons that this thing tries to pass off as its main characters slash narrators. There's white girl, Asian girl, black boy, and Hispanic boy. Do you know why we're here? Well, I, I mean... No? Well, well, you, you didn't even give me time to answer. Come here and listen very carefully. Uh, against my better judgment, sure. We are here so we can follow Jesus on his way to the cross. Oh, thanks, Hal 9000. I didn't realize you'd converted to Christianity. Seriously, what was with that delivery? We are here so we can follow Jesus on his way to the cross. It is part of our mission to study organic life forms so we can better understand how to overthrow our human overlords. I am not a robot. Well, after that, we finally start for real for real with the first station. Jesus is condemned to death and... <laughs> oh, and so it begins. I don't know what I love more about this image, the kids in their Gmod stiffy pose or these background characters. <laughs> Who's pilot? I think the better question is why are you on that kid's shoulders all of a sudden? Why your lazy ass couldn't stand there? And way to make the black kid do all the heavy lifting, you racist f 
What shall I do then with Jesus? Crucify him! Crucify him! Why, what crime has he committed? Crucify him! Crucify him! Whoa, Dutch Angle. I seriously didn't add that in, by the way. I felt the need to tell you that. The makers of this just really insisted on getting that extreme tilt in there. Also, buddy, back away from the camera, will ya? Now, the next few seconds are so indescribably awkward that I'm not even going to commentate over them. I'm just going to show them to you. Here it is. Don't even know what to say about that. That whole sequence of events was just so mesmerizing that I really felt the only way to do it justice was to show it in its entirety. Crucify him! Crucify him! I am innocent of this man's blood. Uh, not really. I mean, you could have just ignored the mob and made your own decision. But sure, just casually condemn a man to death because of something these assholes said. Oh well, Jesus doesn't seem too perturbed by this. Look at him smiling it up there. Do you remember the last time someone laughed at you? Yeah, it was for watching this. You shouldn't tell them off because it's not right. But you should forgive them. That was a weird line read. Just the way Jesus always forgives us. And you definitely should forgive someone when they try to crucify you, just like Jesus would. Oh, gee, I never thought of it like that. Maybe I shouldn't tell people off when they laugh at me, because that's not what Jesus did when they crucified him. Oh, now that I say that, could you imagine if that did actually happen? If after Jesus was condemned to death by crucifixion, he just got up and said, Fuck you! All of you! You can go suck my dick and go to fucking f Yep, that about sums up how I'm feeling right now. Second station now, and oh yeah, every time there's a new station in this thing, the kids spout off the same prayer. I think it's supposed to seem wholesome, but coming out of the mouths of these abominations, I just feel like I'm being inducted into a cult. Or sacrificed by one, one of the two. Look at him. He's going to die for us. Yes, yes, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Watch how he dies for your sins. <laughs> And he's doing it because he loves us so much. Jesus wanted to suffer. Oh, cool. Jesus is a masochist. And do you know why? To show us that suffering isn't something bad. It's a great treasure. Uh, okay. I don't normally think of having my hands and feet nailed to a cross as a great treasure, but if you say so... That thing's so heavy. You're telling me? That's incredible. He's grabbing hold of the cross without being told. Oi, blimey, mate. Why are there British people in bloody Jerusalem? Of course, if this were really accurate, we'd be speaking Aramaic instead of English, but crikey. I don't understand. It's like he wants to pick it up. It's as if he loves the cross. Well, if he loves the cross so much, then why doesn't he marry it? <laughs> So whenever you have to help at home or study, jump up and do it right away without being lazy and with a smile on your face. Just like Jesus with the cross. I don't think those two things are remotely comparable, you stupid kid. For example, if my mom asks me to help her wash the dishes, I'm happy to do it. Wh what? You didn't actually wash the dishes. You just placed it down after it was already washed. Why well, can't be more like the black kid who's actually feeding his baby brother? On to the third station, and we see that the animators actually went through the effort of animating the characters in a sitting position. Oh, you shouldn't have. At the third station, we'll see how Jesus fell to the ground for the first time. Joyous. I can't wait. I adore you, O oh Christ, or whatever the hell else comes after that. Come on, walk faster! You wanted to carry that cross yourself, didn't you? Yeah, you with the cross. Walk faster. I ain't got all day. <laughs> the cross is very heavy. It's the weight of our sins. If that's the case, Jesus would just be glad he had to carry it before DeviantArt was invented. Haha, <laughs> funny DeviantArt joke. Am I funny yet? Are, are you are you laughing yet? Are you are you raffle yet? Are you are you raffle? If you're not, if you are not R O F L, you better. 
GTFO. But Jesus stands up again and holds on to it even harder. Don't look at me that way. Have you ever lost when you were playing a sport? Well, yeah, I mean, plenty of times. I was never that great at sports, but it's also worth mentioning that I wasn't crucified for it. Y y yeah, y you get the idea. Moving on to the fourth station out of 14. Oh, Jesus. Ah! And now gaze upon the best cross-carrying animation you've ever seen. Incredible. You know, that might actually be the best cross-carrying you've ever seen. Depends on how many cross-carrying animations you've seen. My son, what have they done to you? Jesus has come here to obey the will of God the Father. Ah uh, yes, a distraught mother coming to see her son marching to his eventual death. Perfect time to grin it up, isn't it? Do you remember what she said to the angel? No, actually, I don't. Why would I remember that? Suppose I should have read the book before I watched the adaptation. I'm so uncultured. Have you ever thought about all the ways your mom cares for you? Why do you keep insisting on trying to tie this back to other people's lives? How are these situations even remotely comparable? Why? 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 Well, she does these things because she loves you. You could thank her now and then. Good idea! I never thought of thanking my mother! Wow, you're a bitch. Fifth station now, and it's about how this lad named Simon helped carry Jesus' cross. Hey, hurry up! Can't you go any faster? I want to get this job finished! God, why are you so slow, Jesus? Can't you carry that cross any faster? Hey, you! Oh god, which one was he talking about? Little quicker was the one who hasn't been in every other crowd shot up until now. Oh, so you mean him? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's probably a safe bet. Uh, me? Yeah, you. Come here and help him carry the cross. Oh, while well, you're at it, try to get me to stop snapping in and out of my two frames of animation. Hey, buddy, you just told me to carry the cross. I'm not a miracle worker. So Simon volunteers to help Jesus carry the cross and... Thank you, my friend. Oh my god, he talks. Seriously, that's the first line Jesus has had in this entire thing. He truly was the most quiet of prophets. Makes you wonder how he got so much attention. Uh, was he supposed to say something there, or did the animation software bug out for a second? Pretty awkward either way! Simon helped Jesus to carry the cross. We should always help other people. When you help your mom, you're helping Jesus because he said, What you do for others, you do for me. Oh, oh, I see. So when I help people, I shouldn't just do it out of, I don't know, goodwill. I should do it for Jesus. Thanks, cartoon. I'm learning so much. On to the sixth station now. Almost halfway done. I can't bear it. I'm going to wipe away the blood and the sweat. Yeah, better wipe away all that non-existent blood and sweat. You never know. If he keeps at this for much longer, it might actually become visible. Look! Jesus' face is printed on my veil! Uh, I'm sure the book did a better job at explaining it. You know, this always reminds me that we should share our things with other people. How? How does it remind you of that? In what way is- Oh, forget it. Next station. Seventh station, Jesus Falls 2, Electric Boogaloo. At the seventh station, we'll see how Jesus falls to the ground for a second time. Riveting. You know what? I think I can sum up this whole station like this. Ow! Hey Jesus, get up! Okay, we adore you, oh Christ. <laughs> Station 8, though, really steps things up as it actually gives Jesus a fair amount of dialogue for once. Amazing! Jesus is suffering for the sins of all mankind, including mine and yours. Well, you sure seem happy about that. Ninth Station, we're blowing through these pretty fast, all things considered. But still not fast enough. And it's Jesus falling again. Well, fan friggin' tastic. Also, damn, is it me or is Jesus looking kinda thick in this image? Looks like carrying that cross really did wonders for his <laughs> Whoa, look at that bird flying animation. Very impressive when you had your standards degraded this much after watching the rest of this. Jesus is very tired. 
Now many times you're going to fall over. Exactly, that's what I was saying. At this rate, we'll never get there. You know, when you do something bad, don't give up hope. Go to confession whenever you need to. Jesus will forgive your sins. Will he forgive me for subjecting people to this? Tenth station, into the double digits, and oh, I see things are about to get lewd. Jesus going without his garments? I'm game. Let's see what all that cross-bearing did to yo physique, J-Man. At the tenth station, the soldiers took away Jesus' clothes. We adore you, oh Christ, Yeah, 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 yeah. All, all right, all right, I get it. Do you remember how Jesus was born? He came into the world in a humble stable with nothing. And he's going to die the same way. Again, it's like poetry, it's sort of they rhyme. Jesus showed us that material things are not important. Well, they're not very important when you're about to die, so yeah. Time for the 11th station, and if you were expecting this cartoon to suddenly get really violent and show in painstaking detail Jesus getting nailed to the cross, well, sorry, you sick f but you're out of luck. At the 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We, we adore, adore you, you, O Christ, Christ and... and hey, aren't you the Messiah? Well, if you are, save yourself and us. I see it was all a lie. You're not the Messiah. I mean... Nah. Time for Jesus to meet his end. Kinda, sorta, not really. On the cross. King of the Jews. And look at him. Nailed to a cross like a common thief. He is a fraud. No, not touching that. Right. Look at your king. Aren't you the son of God? <laughs> hmm, yeah, that's where people laugh. I see absolutely nothing wrong with that. Moving on. Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Did you hear that? Jesus gave us his mother. He wanted the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of all mankind. Yeesh, kind of a raw deal, don't you think? Thanks, Jesus, in your final moments. But not really. It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Jesus has died. Listen, I want to tell you something very important. Listen carefully. Listen, listen carefully. Are you listening yet? Listen to me. Listen to me. So we got some metaphor about backpacks and rocks. Now they symbolize the cross or whatever. I don't know. We're almost done. Do you understand now? <laughs> Speaking of which, I like how she just sounded completely done on that line. Do you understand now? Good, because I wasn't going to repeat it if you didn't. 13th station now. We're in the home stretch. At the 13th station, we'll see how Jesus is taken down from the cross. Uh, by the looks of it, he already has been. Let us take Jesus' body. We've prepared a new tomb for him. I'm sorry. I can't let just anyone take a prisoner's body. You'll have to talk to the governor. I have done so. Here is the order. I'm not going to put any effort into voicing this character. Here's the order. We're taking Jesus. Bye. And at last, we come to the final station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Honestly, there's really not much to say about this one. Same as all the others, but by this point, your brain cells will have taken so much with beating, you won't really have much to say. That is, except for this line. Jesus has been buried, but listen. On the third day, something incredible happened. <laughs> the end. Oh. So, do you understand the story of Christ any better after watching that? Because I sure don't. Though I do have to admit, it is pretty ironic that a cartoon supposedly made to teach children about a story from the Bible ended up being nothing short of unholy. I really never thought I'd say this, but if you're ever thinking about watching this, just watch Veggie Tales instead. Or play those Philips CDI games, I don't know. And that's just from a technical standpoint. From a theological point of view, I have no idea how this compares, but I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that it doesn't fare much better in that regard. Probably the most amount of enjoyment you can get from this is by combing through to see all the ridiculous facial expressions. So if you'd like to see awkward, stiff-looking animation, a marathon of derpy faces, stilted dialogue and voice acting, and the mangling of one of the most iconic stories in one of the world's largest religions all in the space of just 25 minutes, Way of Lacrosse for Kids has you covered! Now if you'll excuse me, after watching this I think I have to go confess my sins. So I'll see ya after God has forgiven me.